It's race weekend, baby. Which means we get two days of a complete distractionless time at the racetrack. Two days to give the hardest attempt of our best driving and our most aggressive driving. This weekend, we're gonna be piloting the Mark V Street Hunter Supra. This is gonna be our first time driving it in this competition series known as Hot Pit Auto Fest. If you are a follower of the Clips channel, you have seen us drive this at the past five previous grid lifes. We drove it at one of the LZ's Invitationals and actually got first place podium on last chance qualifier. But today's gonna be a real test of our efforts. There's some really good competition here. We've podiumed at this series three previous times. So we know we have the driver skill, but now it's time to do it in the new car. Dylan is currently drawing the layout so we can go over it inside the semi truck to really talk about points that we think we really need to focus on or it could be our points of weakness so we can maximize our time on track because we do not get much practice today. Before we even start practice, Dylan and I are probably gonna go over the layout for the next 20, 30 minutes and talk about what we need to focus on. So you're so left, coming left in, turn. I almost like need a matchbox. You're gonna be like this. It's gonna be really weird coming because this is also an incline too. So like that's gonna like you're gonna upset. Have the power on. <laughs> Fuck trying to emulate angle here. Let them go away and then suck back in to outer zone four. Chase yeah. Let them do four. their thing. I would, and be basically set this way. So they're gonna enter box. here and yeah. then they're gonna shallow up here. Hey. Anyone want to walk the track? Uh, yeah, is it set up though? Oh, now it's not that layout? Go oh my out. God, okay. Fucking the layout we were just practicing that we were talking about, they just changed it last minute. Typical what they do here. So we're just getting some experience right now and just putting eyes to the track so we get a good idea of what to, what to expect before we come in and practice. Because when we get practice, we'll probably get like six to eight laps and we have to make uh, use of every single lap as best as our ability. So I think that they're gonna extend this zone. Stop, I need this. I think they're gonna extend this zone a little bit more because this hairpin's way too tight. I doubt this is final form. If it is, this is gonna be a park zone and then you're gonna have to, everyone's gonna light it off but look, look how short. If this is it, right? Look, it goes immediately right, immediately left and out. I have so this whole zone. Almost go get the fucking Z. No, what the f Run it home in this. This is not a big layout either. I don't think we'll overheat in this. Adams Motorsport Park. Yeah. All you have to do, like, you have to stay in that little zone. Yeah. Technical driving is my favorite. This is going to be a sick layout. I'm super stoked. Fast in the beginning, slow and technical in the rear. That's my jam. You'll have to be really careful though, because if this is their outer zone, you're gonna be coming in, you're gonna go for that dive. You go too aggressive and come forward, and they just left foot break a little bit, you're gonna get pinched out so fast, you're gonna park it. This is like a, a prime example of coming into the outer zone rather than being front three quarter, really say like rear bumper quarter, so that when you open up, you're like, that's where you make that dive on the next. Always dive in further. Your car's gonna be fast. All right, you're off the phone. I get to ask questions now. Uh, like, where's the where's the zone end the to, the to transition back? You guys are like into this track walk, and I'm like 10% into making this track. <laughs> so, what's the idea? Fast pace there, jam in, and then slow and technical, right? Yeah. So it's gonna be an outer yeah. zone here. We, you know, we like outer zones. Yeah. So it's, it's fun tandem. It promotes good tandem. Wow. <laughs> Second gear, don't miss shift. Da -da 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 -da. Initiate, flick, hydro, just to set the rear. Set, angle set, foot floored. That's me. Boop, 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 boop. My eyes are hot. Uh, current weather temp. Let's get a little check here. I don't wanna hear it. All right, the wing of our car is at 33 inches. We wanted to check just to see if we do go in the wall, is our wing explode? That's gonna be a tail light or another over fender. Those things are like $600 a piece. That's gonna ruin my bank account. Ba -da -da. No, I, I could probably tell you right here, this red streak right here, that's us. <laughs> Dylan on the comps. TJ, back off the wall, back off the wall. Green right there, probably roam. Wheels. Hey, he's going like that. Go, 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 go. And he's going like that, and they go like, the wall, the wall, the wall, the wall, the wall. Oh, oh but then TJ steps on the gas, he steps on the gas. Margarita can't catch up. Oh, the crowd goes wild. It's gonna be so much fun, I can't wait. Oh, hey, what's up, Dylan? Hey, that's an E36, are you dumb? Shut that's up. Rome's. Okay, Shut kick up. Rome's taillight, got it. Yeah, buddy, that's you, baby.
to initiate. Cool flick, zone, wall. Yeah, no, it was wall. I was up there. Coming down a little early though. But again, I was so distracted by not being able to see. That's a respectful distance. That's a not, that's the closest you're gonna get without f***ing your car up. I right, agree, right there. I agree. Oh, uh, you start to come off. Well, cause I'm like, where do I go? I and I'm like, okay, I'll just pull off here. And right now, you can't see me. And I can't see through that. I know. So I'm like blind, 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 blind. Where am I, where am I, where am I? I popped out and I was like, oh, okay. You made, oh. Nice, dude, appreciate it, squirty boy. Ooh, you did that a, looks kind of majestic, Cal. Damn, I, you did a f***ing scooper behind it too. Look, you did zone one, rail. Touch and go, f*** that thing like we said. Zone three, four, rail. Even blind. Only thing I want you to change, do that exact lap, foot forward. Next time you go up to qualify, as soon as you come in the you want to have smoke, look to zone two. Fill zone two, and then everything else, f*** the touch and go. Three, four, perfect. So, great f***ing drive. Let's go qualify. They changed it. I just really tried to fill two, and then when I filled two, it put me so deep that I had to throw full, a bunch full of angle. sideways. It put me in the wrong spot, uh -huh. and I went too deep, and then it was unsavable at that point. So I just, I guess in blatant terms, I just fucked up. Okay, so driver error, not car error, right? No, no car. No, I'm not bummed at you. No, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, you had no practice. It's all whatever. Day I just with the track. I that's probably a zero. Uh huh. It better be a zero. Well, you're just gonna beat the fuck out of people And now I need, and now I need to do death match tomorrow to earn bottom seed and then work my way up probably against like first person all the way up. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. You in this car, that's fine. You're leading your chase, especially yeah. getting practice. Guess what? More practice. I guess, yeah. So, hey, here's here's all I have to say. You hadn't seen the layout yet, right? So you were doing that exactly what I asked you. Came in, filled zone two, right? Yeah. And then at the end of zone two, you're like, I, ah, I, 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 have I, to, I have to, I have to, filled it. I have to bind, right? And then when you binded, came down, your chassis didn't have any angle to go across the dip a lot. So you were already sideways, bounced a lot, hit super hard, and then you had to gangster flick back, right? So much. To, and then to, sa to save it. And then you spot. were, then you do what we talked about earlier, where you were in the touch and go, point to point, and then you're yep. like, ah, fuck, I'm, I'm mid track, finding mid track. I'm coming in hot. I got to flick super hard again, Honestly, which, which is parked you. I rarely shit the bed. I. I really shit the bed. We have our work cut out tomorrow. It's okay because I know I know my driver, and tomorrow's gonna be a fucking good one. I'll tell you what. Of course, the one day Cal the yeah, one day that. Calvin comes, the one day he comes, I don't do well. Wow. Don't so put the camera saying, on. Don't put the camera. Are you saying that he's a a bad muse? A bad juju on this one? I'm a bad juju on this one. Unfortunate. This is hard not to kick yourself, but hey, hey it happens. It's I'm super hyped. Let's focus on positives. Car didn't f up. You're a lot easier to change than the car. Do you understand what I'm saying? I know you can drive this car. I know you're a driver. Cool, great. Tomorrow, let's butter it up. You get more practice. I'm super stoked the car didn't f up because this is way easier to fix than the car having electrical issues, data stuff that I can't, I can't touch. And I, I, I said. <laughs> Talking to your mouth, dude. <laughs> I don't want that. Well, you're gonna have to charge I it. Don't want you're gonna have to deal just, with it. I actually, oh, dude, it's like nothing ever happened. There you go. It's Come on, dude. like wet cat. All right, uh, we're checking tow. It, it feels icier to me. So, towed in a little, or what were we at? Tiny, tiny bit. We were at zero. We were. It looks like you have a little more camera potentially, but so do we just drop PSI or do we try to adjust the tow? It feels good. Yeah. Uh, do you want to keep the tire or change? If it's fine, we'll keep it. If there's no gashing or anything like that, we're good. It's fine. <laughs> Yeah, let's go, baby. 
shit. Yeah, he, he bumped you, but... Yeah, this is fine. Wow, what hit a great kit. Just... Why didn't you follow through uh, for when he, when when he, he hit, hit me? Yeah. Because it, it hit me good. Yeah. I thought I thought the whole rear end was smoked. Yeah. Like, he hit me like... Yeah. Oh, my God. Sorry. Oh. And I tried to get in it, and I was just like, dude. Yeah. No, you just you, fucking you, reeled. You were fine. He hit. He clearly hit you, especially from a judge's perspective. And, and then... And then him over-rotating was sealing the deal. It already sealed the deal. So, when I left early, I, that's when he hit me. You were, I, I tried you, to leave it early. You were definitely... It was driver error on his part, no matter what. It's your line. It's your line. I got a little deep in outside three. Doesn't matter, right? Your, your line, he follows your line, right? So it's on him no matter what. But what I will say is when you were to chase him, right? You gave him a really big gap, gave a gap. really big gap. I would almost argue that that would be close to inaccurate. So next time that that happens, I at least just want like car length because you gave a really big gap. You reeled him in, of course, and he spun. No questions asked, but great lead, great job. Way to not flop, way to still go through it. Yeah, your, your chase, even when you cut up to him, like, dude, he just lights it off. Sorry, Don, I love you, but he just lights it off, and that thing almost shit whipped into the side of your car on this side. It looks like it might have a little camber, but we'll check all that. are always the hardest talks and conversations to have. It's never fun to lose, I guess. And I'm still like pretty upset, so it's hard to find the words. But essentially, at the end of the day, we pushed the car harder than it's ever has been before. And in doing so, we unlocked a whole nother set of features and fault codes and sensors that the Supra hadn't seen before, which caused a whole bunch of hiccups with the car. From the beginning of this weekend, we were dealing with problems with heat, heat soak. When the car does heat soak, the car goes into limp mode, shuts us down. We think it's heat soak, but we don't know if maybe the IETs are too hot or the coolant temp is too hot or the oil temp is too hot. Long story short, it's shutting us down. Today, we were dealing with the rack would just decide to stop working. And I would have a super heavy power steering, which ultimately costed me the loss. With the Corvette, my chase was solid. The car did exactly what I wanted it to do. 
on the lead, the car was solid up until the very last 20%. The car got too hot, put me in 50% down in horsepower, which ultimately that's where they gave him the one more time because I completely botched the second half of the lap. So that sucked. Then we did it one more time and we reset the car, got it temperature down as much as we could. The power steering rack decided to turn off on us and it's an electronic power steering rack and we don't know the codes to control it. And that car ultimately shut down. I tried to power through it with my lead run and just go through the heavy steering and it was so difficult, I did my best. But today, mechanical is what took us out. And that's what we signed up for in the beginning of this year with the Supra, knowing we are on stock ECU and stock everything. Today has just decided the fate. At the end of this year, I'm gonna be ripping everything out of that car, taking the B58 out, I'm taking the manual transmission out, which again, the whole reason why we bought the car was to keep the factory driveline, have this reliable car. But you know what? I didn't think I cared as much about competition until I get in moments like this and I wanna rip someone's head off because of a mechanical failure that is out of our control. No one in the world knows how to fix this right now. It's just a timing thing on how to get the stock ECU to work and not have hiccups. So I'm telling you guys right now, at the end of the year, I'm probably gonna lean towards towards doing some sort of LS, something that just works all the time. I have a spare JZ, 1,000 horsepower, but as far as reliability and power-wise, I wanna be five to six. Maybe it's time for me to do an LS build. We've done it with Danny's, and 70% of the cars in FD are LS, and they're LS for a reason. So if you don't want me to LS, and you guys wanna see something else, this is your chance to speak up in the comment section down below. Because really, it's either JZ or it's LS. And to be honest, I'm leaning 90% LS better than Jay-Z. This is your chance to stop me. We have two more grid lives the Supra has to attend. There's one in Lime Rock, Connecticut in three weeks, and then there's Laguna Seca. And then after that, the Valvoline Supra has to be on display at SEMA. There's a round five event here at the end of the year that I am not gonna be competing in the Supra because I'm not gonna have a mechanical failure stop me from winning again. I'm gonna come back on my 370Z. I'm gonna murder everyone here. And I'm gonna get back on the podium. The moment we're done with that, the car is literally going straight to whatever shop can build this whole entire thing. I want it done so we can just get this thing fixed, ready, so we can kill people next year. It might sound like I'm making a very drastic or very dramatic choice right now, but I've been secretly feeling this for the past two months, and this just put the nail in the coffin for me. You keep your eyes off my baby, all right? I told him about the Supra, but we are going to do the Supra. Well, what are we going to do to it? I oh, have no idea. He does. That was a joke. I have I have so much of an idea. I said in the comment section, if you disagree, you have a better idea, or you really don't want us to do that, or you want us to do another interview, you better speak up. Forever hold her peace. I'll, let, let us know down below I'll in the comments. Tally, I'll tally every comment, and then I'll hold up the number and be like, you're wrong. You're wrong. It's all in all, sound. leave the weekend a positive. The car is in one piece. We learned a lot. Everyone on the team wise, and Dylan, and Anthony, and we even had Quinn help, and Calvin help. Everyone did really well. We're very tired. But we want to leave on the positive note that we're going to take the information we learned from the car today. We're going to make it better and come back stronger can't win every time you drive. Well, you can. We're gonna. We're going to. After. We will. We make it aggressive. Everyone else at Hop It, you're welcome. You got lucky today because my car broke. Got Otherwise, I would have been back on the box for Pete. Thank you for watching today's video. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out and keep moving.